finally found out who's going to be directing Spider-Man 4 for the MCU. And I'm going to be honest with you, the choice might shock you. But we also got some story details, who's going to be coming back, and one big thing that has a lot of fans upset. Destin Daniel Cretton, the director of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, is officially in talks to direct Spider-Man 4 for the MCU. And this news comes to us exclusively from The Hollywood Reporter, where they're not only reporting that Daniel Cretton is going to be directing Spider-Man 4, but they're ramping up to begin shooting Spider-Man 4 later this year, with both Tom Holland and Zendaya confirmed to return. Now, how do we feel about this? Me personally, I'm just wondering, was Sam Raimi busy? <laughs> but all jokes aside, I think Destin Daniel Cretton is the best choice of the homegrown directors from the MCU, and I think he's a major upgrade from John Watts. Shang-Chi is one of the better choreographed and visually interesting films in the entire MCU, and I'm personally excited to see how his style fits with the MCU Spider-Man. I'm praying we get some dope-ass swinging scenes and much better hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, there are no details on what the story could be. It was rumored that it's supposed to be multiverse heavy again, which don't get me wrong, I still like the multiverse, but I want something different. At the end of No Way Home, they left Peter Parker in the perfect position to pick up the pieces. He's alone, suffering like Peter Parker always should. I actually made a video the other day on how I would want Spider-Man 4 story to be. There's a link down below if you want to check that out, but I think it needs to be crime wars focused. And there is a way they could do this while still tapping into the multiverse, but I'm praying it's a little more grounded. The interesting thing is Destin Daniel Cretton also worked on the Wonder Man series, which is done, but he's also set to direct the live action Naruto movie, so there's no real news on how this affects all that. But the thing that has a lot of fans upset is that, what about Shang-Chi 2? Are we ever going to get Shang-Chi 2? <laughs> I know for damn sure that movie deserves a sequel, but either way, it's Spider-Man. I'm excited to see it, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this?